Steve. Thanks for coming by today, buddy. Thanks, Mike. Thanks for having me, man. I'm super Appreciate excited it. about this new record that's coming out. Yeah, finally. Yeah. It's yeah. been a while. <laughs> it's been an adventure, and um, my participation has been a joy, man. It's, it's been amazing having you to be, you know, a part of the whole thing. Man. It's just been incredible. So yeah, I'd say it's what been like a five or six year journey so far. <sighs> Probably. I mean, it's been or a while, more. man. Uh, I wanted to release this thing two or three years ago, yeah. then COVID and blah blah blah. You know. Yeah. So it's been a long time coming, man. Yeah. So did the process start um, because you had a bunch of songs you just wanted to capture, or were were they done? you know, and waiting to be recorded, or did it sort of happen, evolve over that time? Right, period? it, a little bit of a combination. I mean, a couple of them I had had for a pretty long time, but well, some of them were relatively new at the time, though. I mean, yeah. still going back three yeah. or four years. Um, yeah. Actually excited about a backlog of, a, you know, a lot of other ideas I want to kind of see through and try awesome. to get out there as well. So yeah. It just takes time and money and all that fun stuff. Yeah, and and the process started. The, the first recordings were at the Dan with Dave Swart. Uh, yeah, the first real recordings of this record. Okay, we had done a little bit of demo work early on, but yeah. Okay, which was all like what cell phone in your house kind of thing. Cell phone playing along a guitar, a click onto the phone, that whole right. thing. I mean, and then I made the mistake of. And I learned a lot. You know how much I hate click tracks and right. that whole thing. But I, you know, I tried to record some of this stuff to the original click track version of it and it just didn't work out i mean so basically the first you know i don't know couple months of recording at the den was more more or less just demoing uh -huh. you know, figuring out what worked and what didn't I had to re-record a few of them it did was you a long do all process. the parts at that stage like drums and everything um i just played guitar and you know basically getting the drums down my son alex came down and helped we re-recorded one he actually played the lead on the end mm -hmm. of jimmy yeah. Um, but it was mostly just trying to get the drums down, and then of course I had a lot of people help out with the whole record. Yeah, man. And the the name Earl Diamond, how did that come about? Okay, <laughs> well, <laughs> most people might realize there's another Steve Earl, of course. Yeah. So Can't really do didn't want to kind of have my name involved since it is my project, but there's another Steve Earl. So back in the day, it was I was going by Earl Grey. Mm -hmm. Seemed okay at the time. I never really liked it that much, but thought, okay, whatever. But then we were down, I was down in Lexington rehearsing for a Moonbow show, and we had Jason Groves, our close friend from Sneak Attack Studios down there filling in for Ryan McAllister, who couldn't make it for whatever reason. And um, I was telling them about my dilemma, how I was sick of Earl Grey, and oh, I, I think I said, oh, yeah, man, why can't my name have like a diamond in it, like Diamond Dave and, you know, Earl Di yeah, more Neil Diamond and shit. And Jason said, why don't you just call it Earl Diamond? And I laughed my ass off. I said, yeah. you know what? Why not? Yeah. I'll do that because I can. If I go. made myself a diamond. So it's sort of like, you know, it's, it reminds me of like a Lord of the Rings kind of reference. You started out as Steve the Gray. Right. You become right. a diamond. You know? Slow metamorphosis. Yeah. Yeah, right. And shine me up. Steve the White. You know, That's like, right. So in that Earl Grey band... Um, did did that the people that recorded on the record is that who did like all the parts on the record the Earl Grey people? Uh, I had a couple people. That, uh, Greg Reynolds, a close friend of mine, did a lot of the early guitar work in that project. Uh, mm -hmm. Rick Hickey played on some of that. Okay, I didn't know um, Rick was on. So that. yeah, it was some different players, and I mean you're going way back to that ori those original chordies, recordings that like come back is on and all that, uh -huh. and that's when it was Earl Grey basically. I see. Yep. So. Yep. There's probably, there actually, is there any songs from, the, from that band on this record, or? Uh, no. Yeah. Nope. I know we did, a, we did a video, the comeback video, and I didn't realize that was from that. You mean Together? Video. Yeah, Together, yeah. You're right. Together was from, uh, basically, well, it was actually still Earl Grey when we were doing a, the session of the songs I did with Jeff Freeman, um, and Together was a part of that as well. Right, right. So, yeah, I mean, it was Earl Grey up, and, up through all that stuff that we recorded. And, okay. And, a lot of that stuff is still sitting there waiting to go out one day. I'd love to yeah. get it out there. Yeah, well, that's cool. Man. Yeah. Now that you're on the uh, Red Dirt Records label. We'll that's right. We, we'll love I'm to on the stable. Yeah, I love to release that stuff. So, uh, yeah, we'll be fantastic, man. Yeah. So, tell us about the new band and what you got coming up and, you know, the CD release party and all that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, November 26th, as you, of course, know, uh, here. Yeah. 
this the magical village, place yeah. at the village. Yeah. Um, we got Jim Snowden, total badass on drums. Amazing. I mean, it's just a thrill for me, especially of course, to just have such a great drummer back there. And I mean, yeah. he doesn't just play drums; he's a super multi-talented guy, he is, yeah. and it can cover the high backup parts that I can't handle anymore. Yeah. And of course, Jeff Freeman playing guitar. Yes. And you holding down the low end Hell on yeah. bass. It's super fun, man. It's, it's um, gonna be a blast. The we, songs have been. Really yeah, it's to, been. Uh, I really, I forgot how much I missed, you know, rocking out, playing some guitar, and playing these songs. It had been so long, man. It's yeah. been feeling really great, and it's getting a little better each time. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, we're going to try to play a few more shows. Um, you know, this yeah. winter, right? Get some more shows. Try to get out in. there. And well, the record, I think, turned out great. You know, Dan Thanks, did man. a great, great job on it. Yeah. And Mike Tacovi Mike did the mastering. And that's I, right. I personally. You know, is is part of Red Dirt Records and very proud of the way it turned out. And yeah. I, I think it's yeah. people are going to love happy, it. Super happy, man. And you know, and it's exciting. So, with this amazing show coming up, who's on the bill, Steve? Okay, so the fabulous Chalk Eye, your band, man, yeah, your man. band, Super open excited. it up tonight, and then. Bloody Royal Family, great yes. friends of ours, amazing band, is closing the night out. So yeah, they just did the record here. They just finished. It bad. sounds amazing. They yeah. are totally badass. I can't right. wait. Yeah. I'm honored to share the stage with you yeah. guys. Yeah. And that's going to be awesome. So make sure you all make sure you get out there and do that and support Steve on this project that he's been working on forever. And you know, have a good time. Yeah, man, can't wait. Yeah, um, you know, while well, I got you sitting here, Steve. I just want to talk about some of the stuff you've done in the past, man. You've been around the world, you know, obviously played in Afghan Rags. Back in the day. Mubo, yeah, you played in Motorcycle Hearse and a bunch of other bands. What other bands have you played in? So let's see, uh, you said uh, Air Mono. Air yeah. Mono, yeah. Did that uh, with my real close friend Dave Engstrom and Steve Brown uh -huh. and, and John Garcia. Uh, played on their first record, our first record. Uh, geez, it's been a while on that one. But yep, got to go over and do a little touring with that. And well, you know, I, I didn't. You know, I play in the Fizz Fuzz when they're in town with you. Mm -hmm. I had no idea that you guys were in a band because I'm completely yeah, unaware yeah. of the band. Yeah, Steve and I go way back, and yeah. uh, he's one of my dearest friends. I'm a super talented guy, and um, yeah, I've been thrilled to be a part of um, his new music, yeah. Fizz Fuzz. He's doing it with his wife Dawn. Yeah, and um, that's going to be out soon as well. Yeah, I know it's exciting stuff. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll get them in here and do a show with them. I would love that. Yeah, if they can get back in town. You know, having the history of playing with all those great bands and touring the war world, is there like something like from the Wigs days, like when you're playing in front of 500,000 people or something that just like really stands mm. out in your mind? Um, oh, gosh. Or is it just, is it a, a kind of a blur? It's kind of a just blur. So much of that I mean, stuff. I, I do remember, like, you know, in the middle of a show, and certainly wasn't at the beginning because I was so nervous when we first went on, but just just once you get in the zone and relax, looking out there and just really, I mean, is this a freaking dream? <laughs> is this yeah. real, you know? Yeah, yeah. And just trying to really cherish the moment. Like, wow, I mean, I don't I have no idea how long this is going to last, but yeah. it's pretty amazing. <laughs> And what's it like now to be able to like share your songs? You know, the, now you're like the front guy, you're telling your stories. You know, is it cathar cathartic to like get your stuff out there and just you know share it with the world? I think so. Yeah, I mean, it's been relatively frustrating not being able to get this stuff out. You know, until yeah. now. Um, yeah. I really wanted to try to get a lot of it out years ago, but you know, yeah. met my wife, got fam married, had a family, just right. life. You yeah. Know? Um, well, it's a lot but, to do. You know. Have, yeah, like yeah, I said, yeah, yeah. You know, it's it's a lot of work. But yeah, I would love to just continue writing music. I love to write and see it through and yeah. curate songs and record and then play them. And yeah. hopefully, people will enjoy them. I know I do, and that's where it starts. And you know. Yeah. This is exciting stuff. So, man, I can't wait for the show. Yeah, man. It's, it's going to be, be awesome, It's going to be yeah. over the top, brother. <laughs> Join us! Join us! Yeah. Come on down! Woo!